So, my rant. What do I say? This is about the unique 80 liter fridge freezer. We purchased it online through Costco.ca or Canada. Now, as most of you know how these things work, it's just like Amazon. You go online, you see what you want, you enter your details, you add items to your cart, and from there, all you do is hit submit. Once you've submitted, that's where the new learning for me happened. So with Costco, you submit your in information. From there, it goes to a third party. They process what you want. In this case, the unique 80 liter fridge freezer. The third party then sends it to Unique. Unique approved that they have it in stock. They then wrap it all up. They then process the package and they, in this case, give it to UPS. UPS then sends it out. So we live in British Columbia. Postal codes start with a V. Our province has a BC in it. So we ordered it about 10 days um, before we wanted to leave on our first uh, vacation of 10 days. And we tracked it and always looking good, but we weren't really paying attention. I don't know if any of you, anybody else does this sort of uh, tracking, but it seems to be that it was landing. And we're all, oh, this is really good. And then it was declined by the owner. We're thinking, why has it been declined? Who? And then I see that it went to Quebec. Well, British Columbia, for those of you who don't know, is on the west coast of Canada, and Quebec is sort of east of the middle of Canada. So it went from Unique via UPS to the wrong destination. That was two days. We thought we were going to be in luck. Sorry, four days. We thought we were going to be in luck. We we're going to get our product. No. So we do a lot of phoning. Costco. UPS. Because Costco said it was down to UPS. UPS said it wasn't. Unique said it was UPS. U UPS said it was down to Unique. It went back and forth. So we weren't very happy. We tried to stop the shipment. It was in Quebec. Could we reroute it from Quebec back to BC? No, we couldn't do that. So we ordered a second one. Wouldn't be here for our trip. Most disappointing because this was the big trip that we really wanted to try it on. So we said, okay, what well, it is what it is. Ship us another one. So we're on vacation now. We left on the Friday. On the Wednesday, my daughter says, yes, the package is here. That's great. So we come back off a vacation. We get to the house, we finish stripping everything that we'd done for our vacation, go into the living room and I open up the box. It was brilliant. It was as you saw it in the next video, in its bag, lifted up. <laughs> as you'll see in a photo that I'll attach here, the hinges were broken because they're made of plastic. One of the um, fasteners, the front latches, was deformed and bent. And what else happened? Oh, the feet. The bag has uh, some rubber feet, plastic feet. They're just screwed on. The fridge has some feet on it as well, and uh, they're solidly mounted. Lifted it up and as we moved it into the car, just to see how heavy it was to put in the car, one of the feet fell off. So I take the bag off, I have a look underneath, one of the feet were missing. So we then contact Unique. Unique, we sent some photographs. They send us a new bag. They send us the rear hinges, and for some reason, we get a handle that lifts the lid up. So the lady guarantees us that she packed it. 
We then send a picture back to say this is what we're after. And the person that picked it didn't put it in the right bag or envelope to ship to us. So now we're on to our third shipment. Sorry, we're on a fourth shipment because we've had two fridge, fridge freezers. We have now had one bag with some bits and pieces in. Now we're going for our fourth bag with a clasp. That's fine, it arrives, it's great. Customer service, after the fact that we have just given up with the fact of who made the mistake of um, you know shipping it and who didn't ship it and all the arguing, we, we got past that. After that, the customer service was spot on. They sent us all the pieces we needed, except for this handle. They finally send the clasp, which is perfect. And we take it on vacation. No, I'm sorry, we don't. We try it out at the house. I move the fridge. I noticed that the cable sort of moved and the power cut off. And in another photograph that I'm gonna enter here, you'll see that the uh, electrodes inside of the plug, one was set back and was not as far forward as the other one. Broke a contact. So, so we got back in touch with Unique, showed them the photograph. They sent us another photograph saying this is what it should look like. said thank you very much they sent us a new one so again customer service was really really good we got all the pieces back so starting off from a really bad experience of not having our product before we go on our vacation they did come through I must say we got a bag two hinges a clasp and a power cord all sent to us exchanged for the damaged ones and we've thrown those away because there's no use, you know, they're damaged, they're broken. So I'd just like to say that Unique did step up to the plate. The customer service was really good after we got all the pieces. You know, the miscommunication about sending some things and not sending it all and then us finding another thing and it was just endless for about a week. So even though this is a rant, a little bit disappointed, I just want to say that Unique did do a good job. Thank you for listening to my rant. Look forward to part two where we uh, do the test. And then I'm going to do a part three where we're going to put it with the trailer behind me and we're going to leave the fridge outside um, simulating a, three, a two to three day weekend uh, with no solar on this one. And from there, seeing how the batteries fare.